Hi friends, we are learning graph data science and machine learning in this series. Today we are going to build a product recommendation system. Okay, so here we have some customers, Elsa, Dan, Matt, etc. And then we have some products, chocolate, milk, kale, celery, etc. Okay, and then we knew which customers bought which products. For example, Elsa bought milk, Dan also bought milk and Elsa bought chocolate, Dan also bought chocolate, etc. And the relationship also shows uh, the amount uh, they purchased. For example, Elsa bought $3 worth of milk, let's say. Okay. And Dan bought $2.2 worth of chocolate, etc. Now, what we are going to do is for every customer, we are going to build similar customers table. Okay, for example, let's say we want to make product recommendations to Dan. So what we do is among all the customers, we will find out who is the customer who has very similar purchasing patterns to Matt. For example, let's say it is uh, Annie, right? And then if we were to recommend some product to Matt, what we do is we look at the products bought by Annie and we find out if there are any products which Matt hasn't bought and we recommend those products to Matt. Okay, that's what we are going to do. So after building the system, uh, we are going to have the similarity score a between the customers. For example, here, Elsa and Dan, these customers are very similar. They have a score of 0.98. So there is a high probability that what Elsa bought the Dan likely to bought if Dan hasn't bought already and vice versa. And uh, if you look here, for example, between Dan and Annie, we have a similarity score of just 0.68. Okay. So we are going to build which customers are similar and what is their similarity score uh, using node embeddings and K nearest neighbor. All right. Okay. So as in the previous videos, we are going to need graph data science uh, and graph database. Uh, I'm connecting to my local database. Uh, just checking if this database already has uh, any nodes. Uh, zero, so it's an empty database. And then uh, we are accessing uh, the graph data science client. Now, for this exercise, uh, we are going to use a very simple uh, sample data set. Uh, so we are not reading the data from uh, a file, uh, which is usually the case. So let's create some data set. Okay. So here we have persons. These are all the persons we have, Dan, Annie, Matt, etc. And they have a label, uh, which is their name. And then here we have the products, uh, cookies, tomatoes, cucumber, celery, etc. And similar to our customers are person, they also have a label. And then here we have the relationships. So we have only one relationship, which is buys. So every customer, here we have what are the products they bought and also the amount as the relationship, okay? Uh, uh, sorry, or the property, relationship property, okay? For example, Dan bought cookies worth $1.2, milk worth $3.2, chocolate worth $2.2, so and so forth, right? And similarly, for any mat, uh, uh, Elsa, etc. All right. So in order to do any graph data science, uh, we first need to project our graph database, uh, which is what we do here. So before projecting, uh, we are estimating how much memory it takes. So we want these nodes, person and the product. And for the relationship, we want buys and we are also interested in amount because uh, amount also important, right? For example, two customers, they might have bought same product, but one bought very huge amount, uh, where, whereas the other bought a very small amount, right? So the amount also uh, matters. All right. So here we are projecting. I mean, before projecting, we are simply estimating the memory. I mean, this is a very, very small uh, uh, graph. So uh, it requires only some 500 kilobytes. All right. Here we are actually projecting. So what are the nodes and what are the relationships? Okay. 
all right we have projected and then what we are going to do is for each node we are going to create node embeddings now how is this different from a product recommendation using a tabular data right so we can use the same tabular data uh, to build a, a traditional way of a product recommendation system but here the advantage with node embeddings is the nodes they also take the topology into account when creating the embeddings right for example it already knows uh, uh, this product milk is bought by both elsa annie dan uh, etc right if we were to have it in rows of course the information is still there but in machine learning algorithms we process one row at a time right whereas here when we are creating the embeddings for each node we already knew which are the other nodes it's connected to what are its relationship what is the weight of the relationship etc right so the node embeddings takes all that information into account so that's why we will have much better results uh, using uh, graph embeddings as compared to the traditional algorithms machine learning algorithms all right so here uh, again we are estimating uh, uh so we are going to use this fast rp uh, this is a node embedding uh, uh, algorithm um so mutate means we are writing the results or the node embeddings uh, back to the graph database uh, it's very simple uh, so the node dimension uh, sorry the embedding dimension we are setting it to 4 because the the graph is so small and so simple but uh, it is uh, very common to have the embeddings of dimension a uh, few hundreds to even uh, thousands okay so here we are saying uh, the amount uh, should be taken as the weight of the relationships and just setting some random seed and the main input is uh, this graph projection okay uh, so these are the some hyperparameters. Uh, all right so we have created the embeddings and written them back to the database right sorry not to the database but to the uh, projection so there are 13 embeddings now even though we need the embeddings only for the persons uh, we are creating uh, the embeddings for the products as well uh, we may not use it but from these also uh, we know which products are similar to each other similar to using person embeddings we know which customers are similar uh, we will also know which products are similar to each other right all right and then it's simply applying this k nearest neighbor algorithm so again we use the graph projection and here we are saying for each node we want to find out the top two very similar nodes okay using the embeddings node embeddings okay again some uh, um, uh, hyper parameters uh, we want to write this relationship uh, back to the graph uh, database right so that's why here we are writing instead of uh, mutate okay all right so the relationship we are giving it a name a uh, similar and uh, it's the score it's the similarity score okay so since we have 13 nodes uh, in our database we have found out 26 relationships so for each node we have found out the top two very similar nodes okay all right exploring the results so what we did is these green relationships we have created through embeddings and k nearest neighbor algorithms right and also we have the similarity scores all right so let's see how we can make uh, some product recommendations okay so here we are querying the the graph database for each person who is the person who is most similar and we want to sort it by using the similarity score okay for example annie and matt are the most similar with a score of 0 0.98 whereas jeff and annie are similar with a score of 0 0.81 so what we do is if we were to recommend a product to matt First, we find out who is most similar to Matt. In this case, Annie happened to be the most similar. And then 
we look at all the products which are bought by Annie and we check which of those products are not yet bought by Matt and we recommend those products to Matt. That's how it works. Okay. So for example, here, what we are doing is first we are finding out all the products bought by Annie and all the products bad bought by Matt and then we are checking which of the products bought by Annie are not in the list of products bought by Matt. Okay. And we are recommending those products as a recommendation to Matt. Okay. So here it says scale is the one product that the person named Annie bought, which is not purchased by Matt. Okay. Uh, that's what it is. Um, very simple. Uh, we build the graph database with relationship and the weight of the relationship, which is very important. And then for each node, we create node embeddings and we use those node embeddings to find out the top n similar nodes, which in this case is uh, the customers. Then we simply look at uh, we, which customers are similar and which products are bought by them uh, to make uh, the product recommendations. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you very much.